inspired you to get involved in a fitness competition? Well, I did fitness competitions many years ago when I first came to the country and um, I'm from Russia. So back there, our competitions were very different. So I got here as a teenager thinking that I can rule the world, got on stage without any muscles on and did very poorly. So being a teenager, I got, you know, my self-esteem was not there and I'm like, forget about it. But I love fitness, so I continue working out. And this year, January 1st, I'm like, I gotta take it to the next level. Uh, I love fitness, that's what makes me happy. It's not my profession, but this is something that, you know, uh, I feel like I'm meditating when I go to the gym. So, as taking to the next step, it was, I need to compete. That's pretty cool. What is a week of workouts like for you? How many days a week do you work out and how long? So I'm a gym junkie. Um, I'm in the gym twice a day. Cardio during the day and weightlifting at night. And um, I give in 120% every time I'm there. So my workouts are very different. You know, it all depends on mood and energy that day. But um, my cardio are usually high intensity, stair master on interval or um, I like functional training. So like ju jumping around, sprinting, for lifting, lots of lifting, free weights, love free weights, squats. What's your favorite body group to work? Um, usually my theory, uh, I love but I hate it at the same time, is my legs. Um, I think that this is such a crucial part of the body and the most difficult one to work on. So I guess. And so what moves do you do when you're working your legs? I love hug squat machine and I like it to do it in the reverse way and to step down from it and up. So this is my favorite one. And then three-way squats as we call it. Closed legs, open legs and plia. So when you're competing, we all know that nutrition is probably very important. It's not more important than the fitness aspect. And what does your grocery cart usually look like when you're training? Um, I try to stay consistent with my with my diet and that's very high in protein. Um, my car for my carbs, complete carbs, is only sweet potato, um, oats, oat brown and canea. Uh, I don't buy anything else. I try to stay away from cookies but I do have a very, very big craving 100% of the time for almond butter and a lot of it. So it is uh, very often you'll find it in my in my bag, grocery bag. Good, you gotta do it. Um, so what do you think is the most rewarding aspect of being a part of a competition like this? You know, uh, it's my first competition, so the first time I got it, I got very intimidated and I felt like I screwed up. But the second time I got on the stage, it's the feeling of it, it's the energy. I'm like, wow, you know, I just want to continue doing it until, you know, till the day comes that I cannot do it no more. That's fun. Yeah, everybody looks like they're having an awesome time. But what have you eaten so far today? Like, how do you have energy? I know you guys are very low on the food. Well, um, I ate a lot of turkey breast and I ate a lot of uh, lean beef. So I had half a, gra a grapefruit so far, half a sweet potato, and lots of turkey breast. <laughs> and coffee. Yes, of course. Everybody and needs coffee. And a little bit of water. Yeah, but not too much water, right? No, not on the day of competition. Yeah, just because you want those muscles to really pop. And what about the tanning? How did you prepare to get the tar? Uh, a light bronzing, which is, uh, I guess, a sponsor for this event. Uh, Mary Beth, she's the best. She did my bronzing. Um, it was my first time again, and I was very afraid to go to anyone else, but I've heard good things about her, so I'm very glad that she had the spot on her schedule to, to do my tan. Awesome. And lastly, for the people at home who, they're not going to do a fitness competition, but they want to know how to look like you. What would you say your number one top tip for getting fit and lean? So my theory, it's 75% how you eat, 25% training, and 5% genetics and, and your hormones. So make sure you eat clean. And that's my you know biggest advice. And get back to the gym and start pumping those weights. All right. Thank you so much for coming Thank back. Thank you.